A-Team, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my voice, I'm recovering from being sick. But today we have a no jumping leg shaping workout. All right, team, you need any coach mat in your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. Go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel. We're gonna come to some knee hugs. So go ahead and pull one knee up, give a little bit of tug. Pull the other knee up, give a little bit of tug. Alternating sides towards the front of your mat or towel. And then butt kicker, pull the heel up towards the booty on the way back. All right, team, knee hugs forward. Good, loosening up those hips. And butt kickers back, good. I'm gonna get the arms up in two with those butt kickers. You're not really gonna use your arms much today, but my arms are kind of, my shoulders are feeling tight, so <laughs> it feels good to just kind of swing them a bit. Good team, good. They probably feel tight because um, like a couple days ago, I just had the craziest fever. Like very, it was so sudden. I was like in the morning, I was like, I feel like, okay, I don't really feel bad, blah, 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 I'm gonna go for a run. And then I came back and it was like, it's like I just couldn't get warm. Like I was just totally cold. I had full body aches. Good team, so I just got really sick. Good team, perfect. Go ahead and stay towards the back right here and go ahead and come to a walking hamstring stretch. So go ahead and stick just the left heel up, reach for that toe, stick the right heel up, reach for that toe. Alternating sides as you walk all the way up to the front of your mat or towel and then backwards jog it back, all right team? Good, get a little warm here. Good, I'm seeing a glimmer of sun. It's kind of a, it's morning here, early morning. Um, so there's lots of clouds today but it looks like the sun is starting to shine through. Good team, good. The cloud coverage actually feels awesome. It's kind of like 70 degrees, and within the next hour, it's just supposed to get to like 72, so it's not as unbearably hot as it tends to be in Hawaii. It's a beautiful day. Good team, good. Perfect, shake it off. Go ahead and come towards the center of your mat or towel and come into your natural squat stance. Come to some overhead squats. We're gonna come down as the arms come up overhead. Good, use those arms to counterbalance and really help you set that weight back. Beautiful team. Yeah, I got really sick. And then today I feel like I could come out and film, think I'll be okay. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy today. Good team. Beautiful. As I was like, not a cardio workout. I don't really wanna get raise my temperature quite that high. Um, that's why we're not doing cardio today. Good team. Good, let's go with a couple more reps here. Perfect. Beautiful, go ahead and come back towards the back of your mat or towel right here. As you come right back into those knee hugs, two butt kickers back, taking it from the top. Beautiful team. Good, maybe we can pull that knee up a little bit higher as we feel a little bit warmer. Yeah, last night I managed to not cough and stuff in my sleep, so I actually just like slept. Um, I slept for nine hours. So I feel a little better today. Good. Good. I've got lots of um, sinus pressure and congestion, so I'm out of breath a little easier than usual. Good team. But it's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. Good team. I love early morning workouts. Perfect team, go ahead and come right back into that. Walking hamstring stretch to a jog back. Good. Yeah, moving really fast will like get my headache going. <laughs> so I'm gonna slow down my pace today. That's why I always say like, meet your appropriate edge for today. Good team, good. There are days when you might be higher or lower on energy or maybe you're working out late at night and you've done, you know, full day's work and everything else and you're just tired but you still wanna get that workout in. And maybe just not, you know, at your 100% ability at that moment, that's fine. You know, appropriate edge, for the day. My edge is not that far away today. <laughs> good today. Good. <laughs> good team. Good today too. Good. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and come right back into that natural squat stance. Overhead squats. Go down. Good. The ground that it's like right in the center here is like uneven. So I'm like trying to figure out my footing. We got lots of squats today so I got to figure out my sweet spot. Good. Good, maybe we can sink down a little lower than we did the first round. Get a little warmer, a little looser. Good team. Good, let's go with a couple more here. Beautiful. Perfect, go ahead and take those feet nice and wide as we come to a lateral lunge stretch. So go ahead and bend just the right knee, get a little stretch in this left groin. Good. And then switch, bending just the left. 
Good, switch and switch. So one more each side, switch and switch. Perfect team, go ahead and straighten out both legs and walk those feet back together right here. We're gonna go ahead and make your way down onto all fours, palms and knees right here. We're gonna go ahead and come into a cat cow stretch. So go ahead and drop the belly, look forward. Good, and curve, belly button to spine. We'll get out, get a little weird, find any tight spots. Good team, big arch. Cat cow should be a daily habit for everybody. And curve, good, mobilizing that spine. Good, arch, and curve. Good team, let's go with one more each. Big arch, and curve. Beautiful team, go ahead and come to a neutral spine. Curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into a down dog right here. Take a moment here to pedal out your feet, shake off your fluff, and then when you're ready, go ahead and take your left foot up into a runner's lunge right here. Give yourself some space, let the toes spill off the mat. Go ahead and plant the right hand, open up the left one right here, big twist up. Good, and then bring that elbow down towards the ground. Don't worry about touching the ground, maybe we're touching the calf, the ankle, just give it that intention. Big twist up, all shading between those two. Bring that elbow down, big twist up. Bring that elbow down, and one more each. Big twist up, and bring that elbow down. Perfect, you can go ahead and plant the left palm, take that right foot, step it back to meet the left, last little shake off right here. Same dance on the opposite side, so go ahead and step just the right foot up, let those toes spill off the mat, go ahead and plant that left palm, open up the right, big twist. Good, bring that elbow down, big twist up. Bring that elbow down, big twist up. Bring that elbow down, and one more each, big twist up, and bring that elbow down. Perfect, and go ahead and plant the right palm, step that right foot back to meet the left. Last little shake off right here, and when you're ready, go ahead and walk your feet up towards your hands, take your time getting there, take a beat right here in forward fold, and then slowly roll it up. Good. Get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our first circuit. All right, team, so coming into our first circuit, we're gonna start with some squats, and we're gonna do these squats together. So go ahead and come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna go 10 pause squats, 10 regular squats, and then 10 squat pulses. Don't worry, we're counting all together. So pause squats first, we're gonna come down, hold it at the bottom, one, two, and up. All right, team, we've got 10 of these, we're gonna do them together. Let's work, drop it down. One, two, one, good team. One, two, two, I'm just trying to find my sweet spot. <laughs> one, two, three, good. One, two, four, good team. One, two, five, you're halfway there. Hold at the bottom. One, two, six, good, drop it down. One, two, seven. One, two, eight, two more. One, two, nine, last one. One, two, 10, good, 10 regular squats. Count them out together, drop it down. One, good, two, three, Four, good team. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, and 10. Beautiful squat pulses. We're gonna come down, lift it halfway up, and back down. Count them out together, team. Let's work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo, beautiful team. Shake it up. Go ahead and step towards the front of your mat or towel. We're gonna come to some reverse lunge to high knee. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant just the left foot. I'm gonna reverse lunge with the right right here, come up to a high knee. All right, team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side. Then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Beautiful. Good, this time we're not together. So you can go at your own pace. Beautiful team. Working on that balance. Get that knee drive going. Beautiful team. Heart rate's coming up a little bit. I'm like, oh, keep the temperature down. Good. I did take a fever reducer this morning, so it should be okay. It helps me kind of stabilize. My fever yesterday wasn't so bad. Um, it was like 99.5. Um, good team. Perfect, shake it off. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and plant the right foot. Left foot's gonna work. There's a guy on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Good. So, fingers crossed I just continue on this trajectory. Healthier every day. Good team. I figured today, you know, a little light sweat might help me. I felt like I needed some fresh air. Like I've just been sitting in my little townhouse, 
you know, I was like, I feel like I need some fresh air, it might help. A little bit of light cardio is helpful when you're sick. Not anything that's strenuous, you know. Good. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and put the feet about hip width apart right here. Slide bend in the knees. We're gonna go ahead and come to a deadlift. We're gonna hinge at the hips, keeping this back nice and straight. Hinge at the hips, stand it up. Lateral leg raise, use this outer hip deadlift. Lateral leg raise, opposite side of our team. We got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Good, poke it back, stand it up, good. Use those glutes to stand this up. Beautiful team, good. If you have trouble keeping your back straight, Prisoner deadlifts are really helpful for that as a teaching tool to put the hands behind the head. Good, it keep, makes you keep um, those shoulders back. It's a nice reminder there. Good. Beautiful team. I'm not trying to do any above the head work today. It's, not, <laughs> it's just not good for how I'm feeling, but if it helps with your posture, you should do that. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and take the feet nice and wide as we come to some sumo squat pulses with a cap raise. So it looks like this, feet are nice and wide. We're gonna squat down a little pulse right here, up halfway, back down, come up to a calf raise. All right team, so a fast motion looks like this. Squat, pulse, calf raise. All right team, we got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Pulse and raise, beautiful. Go at your own pace here. Good, good. I'm probably gonna slow down my pace a little bit. Good team. Good. I'm just looking for a light sweat. <laughs> Not trying to push my limits all the way today. Beautiful team. Good. Beautiful. You know what I watched last night is um, the parent trap with Lindsay Lohan. Perfect team. Beautiful, shake it up. We're gonna go ahead and come right back into that. Take it from the top, so back to that 10. Pause squats, regular squats, squat pulses. We'll count them out together, team. Let's work, drop it down. Hold at the bottom, one. Two, one, good. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. Beautiful team, halfway. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. Good team. One, two, nine. Last one. One, two, ten. Good, ten regular. Let's work. One. Good. Two. Three. Good team. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Nice strong legs. Eight. Two more. Nine. And ten. Perfect. Drop it down. Squat pulses. Let's work. One. Two. Three. Four. We're burning. Five. Six seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, come on up, shake it off, go ahead and step back towards the front. We'll come right back into that reverse lunge to high knee. Go ahead and plant that left foot, right foot's gonna work. Thanks guys on the clock team, let's work. Anyways, I watched The Parent Trap, which is one of my favorite childhood movies. My mom and I, which, you know, I'm from California where it doesn't rain very much. So on the rare occasion, you know, two, three times a year that it rained, that was our rainy day tradition, was um, watching The Parent Trap, I'm all losing my balance trying to talk, was <laughs> watching The Parent Trap and doing a puzzle together and usually a fire in the fireplace. It's our rainy day tradition. Perfect team, shake it up, same thing, opposite side, go ahead and plant that right foot, Wait a second, it's on the clock team, let's work. Good. So then I text her and I was like, mom, I just finished watching The Parent Trap and she sends me a picture of her TV screen and she's like almost at the end of it herself. <laughs> almost like we were like on the same cadence. She's like, I'm watching it too. Good team. Beautiful team. Good, nice strong legs. Good. Yeah, I love that movie and I love the soundtrack to that movie. I like Here Comes the Sun and um, the L is for the way you look at me. Her <laughs> team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come to the, back to those Deadlifts to lateral leg raise. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. I can't remember. It's probably called L-O-V-E or something like that. Um, good team. They have never let you go. I'll never let you go. I'll never let you go. Yeah, it's just good vibes. It's by, um, is I don't, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation, but it's by Jacaranda. It's like J-A-K-A-R-A-N-D-A. Never let you go. Good team. Love that song. Perfect team. 
Shake it off, go ahead and come right back into those feet. Nice and wide, sumo squat, pulse to calf raise. Right, so the clock team, let's work. Drop it down and up, good. Get your superpowers on, that's how I feel when I do this. I'm like, and blast off, good, <laughs> beautiful, good. Beautiful, good, nice strong legs here. Uh, there's one that's like in my head, um, and I wanna say it's by Nat King Cole. Um, it's also on that soundtrack, but I can't remember the name of it. I'm like, I'm singing it in my head. Good team, it's too high pitched for me to sing out loud, mess around and break all your eardrums for our team. Shake it off, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our second circuit. All right, team, so coming into our second circuit, we're gonna go ahead and start with some front kicks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kick it forward, off the side, kick it forward. All right, team, 30 seconds, all the same sides right here. Let's work, and don't worry about kicking super high. Good team, good, especially if you're like me, and you're just kind of low on energy today. <laughs> you know, it's not karate championships. You got nothing to prove to anybody. Good team, we're just gonna work that hip flexor, lifting that leg up, and kick it forward, beautiful. Beautiful team, good. Good, I'm trying to find a nice doable pace for me today. Good team, perfect, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come to some sliding lateral lunges. So I'm gonna go ahead and come towards one side of my mat or towel right here. I'm gonna lateral lunge out to the side right here and then take this back foot and bring it over. And then lateral lunge back, bring the other foot over. All right team, 30 seconds on the same sides right here. Let's work, good. It's like I'm in the sand and my foot slid when I did that. So now I'm like, all right, carefully bring that foot over. Good team. Good, nice, strong foundation. Plant it and then bring it over. Good. Beautiful. Good team. You wanna shift all your weight over towards that bent knee and use that side to bring over the other foot. Good team. Beautiful. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come down onto all fours right here, palms and knees, as we're gonna come to an alternating fire hydrant to bent leg glute raise. So I'll go ahead and start on my left foot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the leg straight out to the side, keeping this knee bent at 90 degrees, straight up to the side, fire hydrant, and then straight back glute raise. Fire hydrant, glute raise. All right team, 30 seconds staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides. When you're ready team, let's work. Beautiful, working that hip. Good, working those glutes. Beautiful team. Good. Aside from a leg shaping workout, this is also a booty shaping workout. Good team. I can see I got bangs cut into my hair, so I can see my little, my little one starting to dry up coming to my face. Good team. Beautiful. It looks good when I don't have a headband on. <laughs> Perfect team. Same thing, opposite side. There's a guess on the clock team. Let's work. Raise it up and lift it straight up. Good. Beautiful. Yeah, but with the headband on, it's funny looking. So I tried to film last time where I just, you know, pushed all my hair back and it looked really weird. <laughs> That's how I felt. It looked like a little alfalfa going on. So I combed it to the side this time. So I'll see what it looks like in editing. I was like, I got to figure out my headband style for when I film. Good. I have to wear a headband when I work out because my hair products will actually drip like into my eyes. Perfect team, go ahead and come on down flat onto the belly right here and go ahead and bring those knees about as wide as your mat or towel, bring the feet together. We're gonna come to some frog pulses from here. So I'm just gonna lift straight up and down. All right, team, you can rest the forehead right here with a little gumball dish. All right, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Raise it up and down. This is a small movement. Squeeze in the glutes right here. Good. And if you feel your back straining, try and just lift one leg at a time. All right, team, just like that. Good. Big squeeze in the glutes here. Beautiful. Good, team, nice strong bodies. Good, don't worry about looking at the clock. I'll cue you, you can rest your head. Beautiful. Good, team. Perfect, go ahead and press on up as we take it from the top and we come right back into those alternating front kicks. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock and lots of stand. Let's work. Beautiful. Good. That's the thing about morning filming is like the ground will be like dewy and then I'll walk on the sand and it's, you know, then it's just stuck to my shoes. 
basically. Now it's all over my towel, that's okay though. Good, that's what showers are for. Beautiful team, good, good. And if you are not like me and you're not sick today and you really wanna crank up the speed on here, go ahead and do it, more power to you, it's your workout. Perfect team, shake it off, we're gonna go ahead and come right back into those sliding lateral lunges, go ahead and come towards one side of your mat or towel. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Good, beautiful. Good. So on these ones, what you don't want to do is lunge it out and then kind of shift back and use that to press on up. You know what I mean? So make sure you're really shifting your weight all the way over to here and using that to stand it up. Good. That's why you'll see me kind of pause on each side. Like I'm concentrating because I am concentrating. That's what's happening. Focusing on form. Good. Beautiful team. Good. It's that bent knee that should be working. Good team. Perfect. Shake it off. Go ahead and come back down. Onto all fours right here as we come right back into those alternating fire hydrant to bent leg glute raise. There's I guess on clock team. Let's work. Good. I got the left leg going first. It doesn't really matter though as long as you do 30 seconds on each side. Beautiful team. Beautiful. Good, nice strong bodies here. I don't know about you guys, but I am getting hungry. Beautiful team. So I didn't really eat like a full breakfast. Um, I can't work out on like a full tummy, you know? I just had like a snack and rolled out, but your girl is ready for breakfast now. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and drop that knee. Same thing, opposite side. There's against on the clock team. Let's work. Good. Good. You know what sounds good? Probably because I saw this on the parent trap. Chocolate chip pancakes. Good team. That's what sounds amazing. Good. My fiance is home now and thank goodness because I'm sick, you know, so I'm trying to not go out in public. So he did all the grocery shopping and he just bought me a bunch of chocolate chips. Good team. Now if I can get him to make me pancakes. Good team. Perfect. Shake it off. Go ahead and come all the way flat down on your stomach right here. Make your little dish for your forehead. Bring those knees out nice and wide feet together. We got 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Raise it up. Good. Small movement. Good. If you feel like your thighs are just barely coming off the ground, so are mine. Good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just focus on squeezing those glutes. Good. Good. This is a small movement that really burns. Y'all know me. Simple but effective movements. Those are fluff favorites. Good, team. This is one of them. I'm like, lay on the ground and squeeze my butt. All right, I can do that. Perfect, team. Shake it off. Go ahead and press on up. Get some water if you need it. And we'll come into a cool down. All right, team. So coming into a cool down, we're going to start with a figure four pure form of stretch. Now you can lay all the way down on the ground and do the same motion with your legs that I'm going to do. I'm avoiding getting sand in my hair. So I'm going to do it from the seated position. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and cross my right ankle over my left knee right here and then bring that left foot up. All right, team. So you can do this again, laying all the way down. We've done this before where you loop it under and grab onto the back of your thigh or if you're new here. Put lay on your ground and grab the back of your thigh from the laying down position. Or if you're like, yeah, I'll just follow you. You can just hang out right here. Good team. So my suggestion is, again, to start with that leg out and then walk it into a comfortable spot right here. You want to feel a stretch in your piriformis, which is in your butt. Good team. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. Yeah, I like the little bit of cloud coverage, keeping it a little bit cooler. It feels awesome. Perfect team. Go ahead and release by sending that leg out long and then uncrossing them to the same little dance on the opposite side. So go ahead and cross the left ankle over the right knee right here and then walk that right foot in until you feel a nice stretch in that piriformis. Good. Deep breaths here, bring that heart rate back down. Good. It's like the, the water seems a little mellow today. Or well, maybe not, maybe it's just, because I'm, I'm looking in the distance, I see some big ones coming in. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just right now. Good team. I haven't really looked into or like researched the moon and the waves, how they work together. Good team, go ahead and send that right leg out and then uncross as you come into a butterfly stretch. So go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together and send the knees out wide. Good team. And if you feel like somebody has hooked onto your belly button and is pulling you back right here, then just walk those feet out. Give yourself a little more space. All right, team. You got nothing to prove to anybody. This is your journey. Good, team. Sit up nice and tall. Proud butterflies. Good. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I know that the moon affects the waves, um, but I'm not really sure like, oh, if it's full moon or but this moon or time of year. I, I don't really know all the finer details of it. I should look into that. That'll help. I'm sure like everybody, the surf is like a culture around here. So I'm sure everybody around here that's like super into surfing knows when it's a good time to go out. Beautiful team. Good, go ahead and release and make your way onto all fours right here, palms and knees. And then when you're ready, go ahead and curl those toes under and peel the hips up right here into a down dog. Take a moment here to pedal out the feet and stretch out your calves, trying to give that heel towards the ground. Good, we did do some calf raises today, so give them a little, a little stretch, stretch through the fascia of the foot. Beautiful team. And then when you're ready, go ahead and cross the right foot in front and then cross the left foot in front, making this nice little crisscross pattern all the way up towards the front of your mat or towel until you reach your hands, meet your breaking point, and then hang out here in a forward fold. Option here to cross the elbows and maybe sway a little back and forth. Good, you can also, I like to stand on my fingertips sometimes. Good team, but just let everything go heavy. Get a nice stretch in these hamstrings. Woo! It's a giant bug. All right, I'm okay. <laughs> Good team. I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye and then I was like, maybe it's my fluff. But then I heard it and I was like, that's not my fluff. My fluff doesn't buzz. Good team, when you're ready, go ahead and take your time here, rolling it up vertebrae by vertebrae, slowest you moved all day. Good team. Good, all the way up to standing right here and then go ahead and shift your weight over towards your right foot. Bring that left foot up behind you. Get a hold of that ankle. Good, nice quad stretch right here, stretching the front of that leg. If you want, you can hold onto a wall or something stable, stare at something stable to help you. Bug, do not mess with me. Good, I'm gonna try not to lose my balance, but I will happily get rid of it if I have to run away from the giant bug. Perfect team. Good, taking that heart rate back down. Unless you're me and the bug is scaring you. <laughs> Good team, go ahead and release. Shake it off, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and switch your weight over towards your left foot. Bring that right ankle up behind you. Good. I actually, I see that giant bug like pretty regularly throughout Hawaii, and I don't know what it is. It's not, I don't think it's a bee. I'm not sure it can sting you, but it's huge. It's, it's like bigger than a bee. Good. And they always like, they're not afraid of you. They get right in your face and they always scare me. I'm like sprinting for the hills. Good team. I just, I don't really like bugs. I don't kill them if I'm outside. I will if they're in my house, not gonna lie, but I don't kill if they're outside because it's their home, but I don't like them. <laughs> Good team. Perfect, go ahead and drop, shake it off right here. Go ahead and come into mountain pose. So feet together and palms face forward right here, mountain pose. Good team. Then on an inhale, go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Good, big clap, giant namaste, make it a round of applause if you deserve it, and go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe because I have new workouts every single week and a new recipe every single month. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time.